ridiculous. Meghan and Harry got trouble as fans claim they saved billions of lives with their New York trip. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry fans have claimed that the couple have saved billions of lives with their involvement in a recent campaign. Fans took to Twitter to praise Prince Harry and Meghan's involvement in a vaccine equity initiative, which is being recognized for saving the lives of billions across the globe. Many claim that the support shown by the couple, despite no longer being senior royals, shows that they continue to advocate for the nations of the Commonwealth. The comments came after Director General of the World Health Organization, WHO, Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus tweeted to his 1.5 million followers about the couple's involvement in the campaign. The leader said, It was my pleasure to join Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, and a group of leaders in health, politics and advocacy to discuss the needs to achieve hash facts or inequity and address the root causes of health inequities globally, including poverty and discrimination. The tweet refers to the work undertaken by the Sussexes within the initiative, and the couple have been outspoken in their advocacy for equitable access to COVID-19 vaccinations. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex co-chaired Global Citizens Vax Live, the concert to reunite the world, in May which helped raise $302 million for 26 million doses of the vaccine. Prior to the concert, the couple also penned an open letter to the officials at five pharmaceutical companies producing the COVID vaccine including Moderna and Pfizer. They urged the suppliers to fast-track vaccine delivery and commit additional doses to the world's poorest countries. Fans replied to WHO's Director General praising the couple for supporting the Vaccine Equity Initiative, with a fan stating, I so admire their commitment to help. Another fan, said glad the Duke and Duchess are bringing so much attention to this issue, a sentiment reiterated by a third fan of the couple, who said thank you for joining the Duke and Duchess of Sussex in the fight for justice everywhere. Another made reference to the ongoing campaigning work carried out by the Sussexes and their support showing that they care deeply about the issue. Lady Rock Savage tweeted, The Sussexes continue to champion and do the work for causes they care deeply about. Glad you had the chance to convene and connect the hard work by all is greatly appreciated. Elsewhere, another fan praised their involvement in the scheme, saying they were super proud of the couple for working alongside industry professionals to aid others during the pandemic. Another user said, super proud of Meghan and Harry for working with top leaders, doctors, and scientists to help advocate for vaccine equity. All of you guys' efforts and hard work will help so many people around the world survive this pandemic. While at three people said the campaign was saving hundreds of millions, if not billions, of lives. Others praised the WHO Director General and other health officials pioneering the movement, and thanked the chief for sharing an insight into the goings-on behind the scenes on the campaign. The couple are currently visiting New York and will be due to attend Global Citizen Live on Saturday, for a 24-hour broadcast in Central Park pushing for vaccine equity. When announcing the appearance of the couple at Global Citizen Live, the organization hailed the pair as two of the strongest voices in the fight for vaccine access. Meanwhile, Meghan Markle read her book The Bench to seven- and eight-year-olds as she visited a primary school in New York with Prince Harry. The Duchess of Sussex read her book to second graders at PS 123 Mahalia Jackson School in Harlem on Friday morning. 94% of the school's intake is from an economically disadvantaged background, according to The Telegraph. The Sussexes went to the school to promote early childhood education and literacy, and were joined by New York City Schools Chancellor Maisha Porter. Harry reportedly sat cross-legged among the listening class of students as his wife read. Harry and Meghan will have the final day of their three-day tour of New York City tomorrow. On Thursday, they met New York Governor Kathy Huckle and New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio.